Well, howdy, folks. If you on the Seek on Speed 252 show, scroll over to the right and click that subscribe button. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the blog. I greatly appreciate literally each and every one of you. I thank you for pushing that play button. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Clarence. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Definitely smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to become part of Seek on the Speed 252 community. We talk a lot of great things on this channel. Corvettes, Corvettes, more Corvettes, other cars, finances, dream goals, accessories, and things of that nature. With today's video, this is gonna be a love-hate video. I really, I've been waiting to make this video for a very, 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 very long time, you guys. Super long time, because I've been getting text messages, emails, all the time, and in the comment section, about what are my thoughts with something that I did to this car. And, I appreciate the sponsorship, I truly do, but I keep it truthful at all times. That's just how I roll. And I also paid to have this done. I paid for the parts as well. Got a small discount, but I paid for some of the parts as well. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I've had this vehicle long enough. I had it since 2017, bought it brand new. I made this upgrade in 2018. So it's been on a car now for at least, at least three years. Now I can give you my true honest opinion about how I feel about my doors and and the love and hate relationship I have with them. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the part that I love the most about my doors. Now for a lot of you guys that are new to the channel, as you know, I end up putting, you know, whatever, everybody calls it something different. Scissor doors, Lamborghini doors, vertical doors, and blah, blah, blah. Everybody calls it something different, so I'm gonna let everybody leave that to themselves in the comment section below of what they want to call it. But at the end of the day, I did this to my C7 Corvette. I have a love-hate relationships with this door right now. When I first saw this in 2018, I was really thrilled to have this done to my car. When they reached out to me and said, hey, we would love to sponsor you with this door kit. And I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm a guy that loves Lamborghinis. I also love Corvettes too. That's, you know, that's my, obviously that's my go-to, but I really love Lamborghini. Granted, I can't afford one. I'm hoping that someday I can get my dream car. Lamborghini Aventador. I really, really do want to own one. I want to see one of those bad boys in my garage. But anyways, back to these vertical doors. I really appreciate what this vertical door kit offered to the car. So let me go ahead and talk about the love that I have for these doors. These doors are amazing. When you go to car shows, they pop up, they stand out, right? The kids love it. Other adults who have these done to their car also love it. Guys who were thinking about getting these done to this car, to their car, they fall in love with it when they see it in person. Now, when people see it in videos and pictures, they kind of like, eh, I don't know how I feel about it type of thing. So they kind of second guess it. But I'm telling you right now, this is something that is unique and something that if you have the taste for it, you should do it. If it's your car and you really want to do it, go for it. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. Once again, there's things that I love about these doors and things that I totally hate about these doors. I have a love-hate relationship with them. So one of the things I love, like I said before, was the attention that they kind of grab when you're at a gas station, you're at a grocery store, when you're at car shows and car events, because there's something different that the Corvette brand I thought should have done a long time ago, but this is what they choose not to do because they feel like it, this appealed to a different audience. Another reason why I actually love these doors is because you know, I have a great relationship with the Chevrolet team, as you guys may know. And so when I wrapped this car, I put the wheels on this car, I put the exhaust in this car, I put the doors in this car. 
this kind of grabbed you know Chevrolet's attention they I, they we ended up becoming friends they reached out to me I reached out back out to them and I built that relationship with them and that rapport which is why you know I have the C7 Corvette and the C8 Corvette as well granted I do make monthly payments on both of those vehicles but this car alone helped me get their attention and help them understand like hey I'm a guy that loves the market the brand I'm truthful to my vehicles and I keep it honest and I'm genuine and I just I'm a, I'm a person that could, could be marketable um, and I really think that these doors help this car stand out I mean think about it if you were at a gas station pumping gas and you know you see me on the other side you're a fan of a Corvette you you're gonna walk up to the car and you're gonna probably ask questions about you know how long I had it how many miles on it um, Grand Sport Z06 Stingray zero not a zero one you can totally tell the difference between a zero one and a Grand Sport um, no disrespect to any guys out there that has a zero one but um, you ask me questions, you know, how do I like it? And then you probably ask me questions like, is the doors at the market? Things like that. And obviously they are. <sighs> I truly do appreciate that these doors make it easier to get in and out of the car. I know for a lot of guys who are a little bit older than me, they appreciate what these doors has to offer when they decide to get this kit installed in their vehicle as well. Because you get the chance to see how easy it is to get in and out of this vehicle when the doors go up. If you're in a tight parking space, which you know, most of the time everybody know, when you park your car further away from everyone else to try to avoid the dents and the scratches, there is somebody else who's liable to park beside you. If I park right here, I guarantee you when I get off work one day or whatever the case may be, somebody else will be parked right beside me. That's just how it works. That's, I mean, that's just how it works. Everybody knows that. That's the thing, right? So when you got these doors and you're parked next to someone, it is a lot easier to get in and out of the vehicle. So right now, the number one thing that I do love about these doors is that it grabs attention no matter where you go because there's something unique and different, right? Because when everybody see doors that go like this, they assume that the car is automatically exotic, right? Like when you look at the McLaren, the doors go up exotic. When you see the Lamborghini Aventador, the doors go up exotic. I think even if you park the Lamborghini Huracan next to the C7 Corvette and the doors go up, people is going to gravitate more towards the C7 because the doors go up compared to a Lamborghini Huracan because the doors still go out sideways like this so it's one of those things where this these doors just bring attention to itself on its own uh, without the vehicle itself but uh, man man oh man oh man i'm going to get into some of the things i actually hate about these doors and i want to make this video because i want people to understand that if you want these doors you go for it if you don't want them you don't go for it and i'm going to give you like i said the pros and the cons of my experience of owning these these doors for the past three years i gave you some of the things i really do but now i'm going to give you some things i really don't appreciate one thing i don't appreciate about these doors is over time for the past three years you will actually have to adjust them now i have not adjusted these doors yet since i've owned them but i should have already done it let me tell you why so once this door come down over time these hinges and these bolts what happens to them they start to get loose and things start to kind of slip a little bit that's just anything in life right so i'm gonna put this door back up as so and that's how i usually do it. i just usually grab it by this thing right here and just lift them up and so if you take a look at my door jam you can see that that little metal thing there once it started sagging it kind of started banging on this a little bit now it still works functionally um, this is still the 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 warranty uh, not the warranty this is still the manufacturer piece that came with it. it hasn't been replaced or anything like that it still works but you can tell as the door starts to sag it starts banging up this just a little bit and I really don't appreciate that at all um, that's one thing that I I really do not like is that over time these doors start to sag and you have to take it back to whoever installed it to get them taken care of now the company that installed these doors for me they have been so many a times and there's a new owner and so it's one of those things where i can possibly take it back to them and have them readjust these doors but it's like two and a half hours away it's a lot of work and so at this point i'm not going to go do that now i will admit you know these uh the the parts are very durable it's super strong you know this is a really tough metal here tough metal there they have to extend this just so it can come out a little bit more this is still all the factory wires and parts or whatever that's inside of here um, and then you can see this this metal structure right here is holding the door up and you can see the shock that shock is pretty strong it's one of those things where like it literally holds the door up. now I don't know how much the c7 doors weigh compared to this uh, Ventador doors and I also don't know how big is that shock compared to the shock that's inside of a Lamborghini Aventador 
um, you know, this is pretty much the same thing they use to open up the trunks and stuff like that. So, and I don't know how long these usually last. I was told that, you know, if these things go out, you can contact the, the, the vertical door company, what the case may be, and they can replace them for you. They can send you another one, the case may be. So you have an opportunity to get that taken care of. Um, I also had the opportunity to put these vertical doors on my C8 Corvette. And as you guys know, my C8 Corvette does not have these doors on them. And this is for a reason. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with these doors. So at the end of the day, if you want them done, I would totally go do them. These parts are strong enough to hold a door. The shock is strong enough to hold a door. But what I don't like for a lot of my passengers is that this door is not easy to open up um, for a lot of people. I mean, I had guys struggle, women struggle, kids struggle, have all struggled to open up the passenger door. Now, I will admit, now this might be something that's on me that I just really don't know. I do know that obviously the driver has to get in the car every single time. So maybe this could be a lot easier to open for me because it's more worn in compared to the passenger side. So it could make it difficult for other people to open it. But at the same time, the Lemigan Aventador, I've sat in the Lemigan Aventador probably at least two or three times already, and those doors are a lot easier to open up. Literally, once you pop it open, it goes up on its own, and it's like, yo, I, I really appreciate that a lot. With these doors, once you pop it open, you yourself manually have to force these doors to go up, and once you get up in the air, it goes up in the air and it stays in the air. As long as, um, as, long as that shock actually works. If that shock doesn't work, then the door doesn't go up and it won't stay up. But it just come right back down on you. Another thing that I don't like um, about the vertical doors is that when you... This is as far as it can go. Now, this is enough space for me to get in and out of the car, right? All day long. But, say for instance, right now, I'm parked on a, a slant on a hill. So, the car is kind of like... Not like it's like this, slant sideways, a little bit like this. So the door is, is staying open, right? But if I was on flat land, this door has nothing to catch or latch onto, so it would just automatically come back towards me every single time. So, right? So anytime I get out of the car, I have to physically hold this car door open to keep it from coming back on me. That's one thing I don't like, right? If you're gonna talk about something that I feel like is simple. Try to figure out a way to keep this door from coming back on me because there might be some days I don't want to put this door up in the air and I want to be able to stay still while I get out of the vehicle. Because when you think about it, when the doors were the same, they would latch on and they would go out a little bit farther and they would stay still while I get out of the vehicle. Now, if I'm on um, flat land and I decide to get out, I have to literally hold this door to keep it from coming back on my legs, which I don't, I don't like. I feel like that's another reason that, you know, some people don't get these doors. And, you know, you don't, you don't know what you're getting yourself into until you experience it, right? Just like some people who decide to, um, see, watch me get out. I can get out without having to pull the door up in the air, but it. I just wish it would latch onto something else. But anyways, you don't know what you're getting yourself into until you get yourself into it. Unless somebody else tell you something differently, right? For instance, like we all uh, at some point worked a job we didn't like. And we might be working a job over here that's paying us $12 an hour. And then this job down the street says we'll pay you $14 to come over here and we give you weekends off, right? So at the end of the day, you was like, oh, I'm getting paid $14. I'm getting $2 extra and I get weekends off. But then, you know, you didn't you didn't get weekends off over here and you're getting paid 12, but then you get $14 over here and you get weekends off. So I'm going to put in my two weeks notice and I'm going over to this job that's going to pay me $2 extra. I'm going to get weekends off. But you don't know what that job is like until you get over there and realize, okay, this job is giving us lunch every day and snacks in the hallway and my boss is amazing. But this job over here isn't giving us any snacks and the boss is horrible, right? But you don't know what you're getting yourself into until you experience it. That's the same thing with these doors. I didn't know what I was getting myself into until I experienced it, right? So this is my first Corvette, and my C8 is my second Corvette. And once again, you do not see these doors on my C8 whatsoever. And I thought about it. I thought about it time and time and again. I had conversation with my friends, conversation, you know, with other people who already got the doors in their car, and they really do love it. I think the C8 Corvette definitely will complement the vertical doors a lot better than the C8, C7 because the C8 looks like it is an exotic car. But you still end up with the same functional parts. It's still built the same way. All the parts are the same, just a different car. And for me, I just can't get behind how this doesn't latch and at some point starts to lag, which is gonna cause me to bend this. And I just, I'm just not thrilled about that. I just feel like that this could be done better. And I know that they're making a kit that you have to actually Built, they have to build a kit separately for a car that's not usually designed for that, which can make it a little bit difficult. I understand that. So, once again, 
I've been getting lots of questions about these cars as far as the doors goes because a lot of people are buying C7 Corvettes um, because they actually love this body style and they don't want the C8 just yet and they want to figure out what are these doors like and as you can see this this door is over there just fine like it's, it's just fine and then you can be at car shows and you can have them up and you know that gives people the opportunity to kind of look inside the car without having to touch anything and they can look back there or they can walk over there and look over there and you know from the back the car looks great as well it's one of those things that's my love hate relationship with these doors um if i had to do it all over again i probably wouldn't do it I am going to admit I probably will set up an appointment to get these doors actually converted back to being normal. Now I will admit the positive thing that they did and I which I do appreciate is that with this kit you can convert your doors back to normal using the same hardware that came off because these bolts and this this kit goes onto the old kit, right? So like for instance, all I have to do is just take all this stuff off and put all the old stuff back on and get my doors being back to being normal it's one of those things where i appreciate it a lot because they didn't have to drill any holes they didn't have to cut anything what the case may be to put this this door kit on so i can literally go back to the old doors tomorrow so once i save up some money i'm being completely honest with you this is my personal opinion this i don't know i can't speak for everybody else who got this done in their car there's a bunch of kits out there that's completely different i am going to go back to my original door soon i really appreciate what this kit has done for my car over the years but I am going to get these doors to go back to being normal because I really appreciate what the normal doors have to offer as well with being able to just open it up normally and be able to get out of my car without me having to hold the door. So with that being said, you guys, that's my love, hate relationship with these doors. Do I feel like I messed up? Mm, it depends. Somewhat yes, somewhat no. But I am grateful that I had the opportunity to experience these doors on this vehicle because I was faking it till I was making it. <laughs> You know, I put these doors in the cars. I thought it would be great. Um, I thought it'd make it look like someone like a Lamborghini, which it did with the doors going up in the air. But you know, it's not a Lamborghini, and I can't afford a Lamborghini. But I'm hoping at some point I can. And at the end of the day, I, once again, I appreciate what these doors has to offer. And if you're interested in getting them done, I would say go for it. If you don't want to get them done, then don't get them done. Uh, but at the end of the day, thank you guys for watching this upload. Once again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, definitely smash the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button as well. Get this video some likes. Leave your comments down below. What your thoughts is on these doors? Would you get them on your car? Would you not get them on your car? Have you already had them on your car and took them off? At the end of the day, I want to thank you so, so very much for being part of my channel. Once again, Happy New Year to each and every one of you. And i catch you guys in another episode of See You Gonna Speed 252. Is your seatbelt fastened? All right. Let's go.